that is this is not good off you know this is a good representation of my week already hey guys <laughs> what's up it's kinsey welcome back to my channel today's vlog is another weekend of my life vlog i apologize for no college week of my life vlog um this past week it is just because i was far too emotionally unstable and literally for no reason at all literally at all something wrong with me on that note, if you guys are new here, nice to meet you. Subscribe if you guys want to stick around. Clearly, it's probably going to be entertaining because I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, uh, it is Thursday afternoon. This is like my Friday. So, got out of class early. I've just been doing a bunch of stuff around my office. I took Coco to the dog park. Went and said hey to Drew. Had a long phone call with him. He'll be here tonight. You guys will see. So, Yana's about to come over. I'm going to like definitely like video playing in my life together. Uh, that's basically what this vlog is going to be like this week because um, the past month of my life, I have just been extremely distracted and not normal and I don't like it so we're getting back into a good routine anyways I am finishing up some video uploads or edits for tomorrow's video which again I literally never wait till the day before to post a video extremely unlike me someone call the police there's something wrong with me I'm pretty sure also I'm wearing the best yet to come hoodie if you guys saw in my like past college with my life vlog Yana called me out because she was really upset that um, she's never made it into one of my cute intros so I got her a merch hoodie so that she would feel loved and valued because Yana is my number one girly you know so like I gotta like let her know so I'm gonna surprise her with the hoodie tonight because I've never also never given her merch which is I realize also I have to pay for my own merch like I don't even get my merch free so that's why but um also if you guys haven't checked out my merch check it out this stuff is awesome and it's really freaking cute so anyways i gotta like figure out my life and do stuff tonight this is probably gonna be a fun vlog guess we'll see my new episode also with chris went up today on my podcast also thank you guys so much for all the love on the podcast it's like making my heart so warm and just like happy but if you guys want be sure to go listen to that there's probably three episodes out by the time you guys have seen this so anyways talk to you guys later bye Oh, why did I just end that like that? This is what I mean. I haven't vlogged in three days, so I'm like, new career path, don't know. Okay, Yana. Close your eyes. Put your hands out or your arms out, please. Stop. Get ready, it might crawl. Stop. No, it's not coming. Okay, Curly. Stop. Okay, Curly. Stop. You don't know what it is. I feel like I know. I knew it! <laughs> oh my god, I've literally been asking for a month. Oh I know! Aww. Aww, right? That's so cute. Right? Oh should I put it on? Yeah, that's why I wanted you to wear it so we could we could film in it next. Mm -hmm. On our way to Chipotle. We've got things to do. I love my fans. Huh? <laughs> I say that about you. You guys are the best. They're absolutely insane. <laughs> I don't I wanna like pretend that this isn't happening right now. Guys, every time Yana turns her car on, this is the song that plays. What about you guys? What's your song? Mine's like Ed Sheeran or something. Ready? Go. Baptized. And do you like my, my new merch? I love the new merch. Love the song. Love the merch. I it's love incredible. her song. Love my merch. The best is yet to come. Link link in the bio. If you enjoy this, there's also uh, mugs. Um, <laughs> she knows what shirts. she's talking about. And do you have ho like hoodies or no? Yeah, this is one's a hoodie. Oh, oh fuck yeah. Crew oh, this hoodie. is a crew neck. This is a crew neck. Yeah, yeah. Me. Oh, fuck yeah. I was wearing my. I was wearing my okay, so we're not the same. Yeah, th that's, <sighs> that's a hoodie. Yeah, this I already have a neck. neck. Okay, peace out, Girl Scouts. Who it is guys? Yeah, I am. Andrew, I just had to make sure that I was here for your 15th haircut. I've been there for... You're welcome. Can you please just be on for like a second? What? Alexa? What? Well, can you be in it with me? Can you guys? You yeah, I really can't do this back and forth. My hands gonna yeah, start cramping. A She's a good cameraman though. Thanks. Camera woman. Camera wow. Woman. Okay, no. A girl boss? That was pretty sexist. Okay, don't ever call me a don't, camera woman. Also, don't say girl boss. I'm okay with camera That's all man. You ever talk about. Everyone, Drew is here. It's been a bit Andrew. since um, you've been in a vlog. 
What is Kenzie's contact name in your phone? Why does she have a knife right there? You never know. Oh. <laughs> I'm asking uh, the juicy questions. No, it's not. Show us. You changed it? Yeah. Fake? You? you took fake out of it? <laughs> I didn't take fake out of it. So what is it? There was an emoji there for a little while, but... What emoji was it? I'm kidding. You guys are matching. <laughs> His contact in is your phone. Andrew Fake Scott in mine. This is true. Yeah. With the heart? No. No. Oh. Andrew is. This is so bad. Not the most supportive friend. <laughs> Not ever asked. Before tonight slash today, when is the last time you guys had seen each other? Last week. Oh. Literally like last week. <laughs> all right. So how did all you right. forget? Maybe let's let's take the ego down a little bit. Said listening to the pod really good. Thanks for the shout out with the green heart because he always sends me a green heart and I always send him a red heart. And I thought he was being passive aggressive. Um, you can't blame me for thinking that. Uh, yeah, I can. I see. You. <laughs> you like punch him in the face and he's like, you like you can't blame me. He's like, <laughs> when it's like you're just gonna take the good and run with it. Kind of what I'm doing right now. So I'm just gonna tell you all the good things that Andrew's I'm really getting the talking. Shane angles. Do you know what I mean? The Shane. Yeah, this is too much movement now. It's gonna be confusing. That um, when she jump cuts the shit out of it, it's not gonna make sense. No, he texted me. <coughs> and I, well, okay, because I never post things with your name in them without texting you first. And I'm an editor, so I just like forgot that you were in the podcast and mm. talked about you. So then I thought he was like mad because I didn't do that. But he told me that I can use his name anytime I want. So thanks for that. I'm gonna, I'm also gonna listening. take that and run with it. Um, good luck. <laughs> um, and then. What else did you do? You said something else nice. Oh, it's because I dramatically posted an emo um, private account post. And then he said, how are you? And I said, like, good, Sam, or something. And then he was like, you're a liar. liar. Yeah, and then he called me. And then we talked for like an hour. It was actually very helpful. Good. Yeah, it was a good talk. Probably the best one we've had. Life's really just come full circle. Wow. <laughs> do you like Have that? you ever seen those truth or drink videos, like, on the channel Cut? No. I think I would just take a drink every time. Really? Ooh, well, you would just shocked. get super drunk. I no, I, I just like would want to. It's like two no people way. sit across the table <laughs> and they there's like cards with like specific questions to their personal lives and like you either answer it or you drink and it's very revealing. Well, I'm sober. I know. So. I was just I wasn't suggesting. I drove, so. I was oh, were you talking tonight? Or no? no, just like oh, I just general, was wondering. Maybe in like a few years. That's actually not a bad idea. <sighs> yeah. So, right. anyways, Andrew, you, uh, your, our talk today was actually very calming to me. It was very helpful. I just wanted to say something nice to you on camera. Calming voice. I don't know how to grab that. Say. But, um, <laughs> anyways, no, it was good. So yeah, he gave me good advice. Um, I told him my life problems, and it was good. What exactly did you get cut? Did you have my hair? Yeah, but I don't know if you got caught. It, it like, looks the same to me. You didn't see it today. I was literally with you today. My oh. Hair, my hair was down to here. Andrew's hair. I hadn't gotten I, it cut I, since no, the beginning of July. So I was trying to explain Andrew's <laughs> natural hair to Ian, and I was like, you know those, those pillows that you have on your, like, family couch with the fringe on the, like, out the border of it? You know, like, fringe, like, just, like, straight fringe. Oh, yeah. And it's just, like, completely straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they don't know that because I always have my hair like styled a little bit. Styled. Okay, well, when he doesn't have any product in it, it literally is like fringe. It's very funny. Mm. Anyway, so um, it's good. Just have to give you guys a nice like three month mark. We'll see you around like three months. So. Mm -hmm. Three months. Merry Christmas. Yep. Hello, everyone. It is Saturday. It is actually 1 p.m. I've just been filming all day. Oh yeah. So I haven't really vlogged, and I'm filming a drive with me, so I'm not gonna vlog much. But I was just spilling out my heart and all my emotions to Ian over here and he laughed at me and he was just like Haha. I realize why I always laugh at you in times like this because you just sound like Junie B. Jones so now I'm reporting live from the life of Junie B. Jones that would be a really good Finsta username I wonder if anyone has that do you think I could take it? the fake life the fake life of Junie B. Jones it's pretty good I have my Alfred I was just chiming in once I'm done filming then I'll vlog for today because it's just like a lot of the same stuff, you know? Not good, not good. I took my earrings out, they were a lot, but um, I actually am in my room about to like do some editing or mood board stuff, just random stuff. Um, I never really like working in here, but I've been in my office all day. I have been filming since like 8 a.m. and it is now 3 p.m., so I got two videos done, um, which is good. But yeah, I'm just gonna get some work done. It's just Friday afternoon. I'm gonna 
edit and kind of chill. Tonight I'm hanging out with Alicia and Janine, which will be really fun. Kind of just trying to get out of like a weird funk, so I've been like making sure I have plans with friends. That's like a really good tip. Um, and just like keeping myself busy and working. But then I'm like, should I not do that and should I just cry? But like, I don't really know what I'm gonna cry about. <sighs> So I have to like schedule it in, you know? <laughs> okay, so it is now Friday night. I know I haven't vlogged much today. It was just difficult to vlog because I filmed for so long and then I was like on my computer and then I took a nap. So um, we're actually having girls night at Alicia's. I am about to head over there. Janine's coming, Morgan's coming. I think Nikki might be coming and we're just having a nice girls night. It's much needed. Ever since last weekend, I realized that girls, girls nights are the best nights. So I'm gonna be there. I think Janine's already there, so I should probably leave okay. hi. hi chloe we literally hit, recorded the same <laughs> time did you hear that hi say hi we love the camera you're oh, so yeah. cute yeah, it's like a nice relaxing night and i am so happy we all same wanted page. to do this yes because yes, we yes. were just like we're all in our pajamas and just like lounging about to order some food watching Friends. Okay, we just got takeout. Nikki's here. Hello. We got my favorite, like, vegan, what is it? Vegan Thai food, I guess? Vegan? It's vegan. It's, it's so not. good. It is. Like, you have no idea, right? If I wouldn't have said that, you wouldn't have known? No. So good. Alright, bye guys. Bye. We're out. Hey guys, I'm wearing an outfit I would have worn on, like, an off day in high school. <laughs> it's Saturday. I have so much to get done. I have a lot of editing. I have a lot of like mood boards and just random things I need to do. So I'm gonna head off to a coffee shop. I don't know what the plans are for the rest of the day for me. Um, but all I know is I need to get out of the house and get work done. Also, do you guys notice I took all the photos down? I feel like I live in a jail cell now. But honestly, they were just like they were cool, but it made my room feel really busy and like kind of messy. I don't know. I'm gonna put some more stuff up there. It definitely does feel like a jail cell, but it was fun. And also the photos are like outdated and like, yeah, you know, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna go head off to a coffee shop, listen to a podcast on the way, get my coffee, get in just like my work grind. And then yeah, girls night was really fun. I don't think I did a great job vlogging. It was me, Janine, me, Janine, Alicia, and Nikki, and it was super fun. But I'm gonna head out now. Okay. So I've been listening to the Gold Digger podcast this morning, The Secrets of Success, The Secrets to Success as a what is a multi-passionate entrepreneur. It's very good. I'm a big fan. Podcasts really just put me in a good mood. Thank you. six hours later wait 10 yeah no it is now <laughs> um six hours later I'm heading back to my car i got so much done and i planned just now and i listened to some new podcasts i feel so much better i'm not gonna lie i'm really second guessing posting this vlog because i feel like it's just kind of negative but i also hey guys um i also think it's important because one second why am i talking out here like I'm really second guessing like posting this vlog just I'm like is it even good is it just like negative I don't know like there are clips that I do like of this though that I like really want on my channel <sighs> but it's also like this is just real life and sometimes you just don't feel great and sometimes you feel on top of the world and I don't feel amazing at this point but I'm sure by the time this video is up like everything's fine I'm good I think I was just in like such a really really good spot and then all of a sudden I'm like what is happening and I just feel weird I know that I'm being vague it's honestly because it's just vague to me <sighs> but even with my channel I'm kind of just like I don't I've kind of voiced this I'm not in that thing like oh I don't know what to do it's just like I don't know what to do I hate that this is reflecting I don't even know what's reflecting this is real life but anyways um yeah I'm gonna head home gonna work probably a little bit more in my office and then Yana's coming over tonight hey guys it's now a few days later um I was gonna scrap this vlog all together but honestly like there's some footage with like, Yana and Drew that I love that I just went up and also I just thought like this could maybe just be helpful for people um it's very real I didn't vlog a lot of like I stopped vlogging and I just still felt very off 
the remainder of Saturday, um, I just hung out with a bunch of friends. And honestly, I woke up Sunday and I felt so much better. And I was like, I'm okay. And I was fine after. Um, I think sometimes... I don't... Well, first off, I did start my period, I will say. And the week before, I'm extremely anxious and, like, depressed. Like, it's very bad. So that makes a lot of sense. But also, I think that there was just, like, a lot of things in my life in, that were, like... I don't even know how to describe it. I was just in like a weird, weird, weird funk. And I just didn't feel like I had a lot of clarity about like so many things. Like this was not about one thing. This was just like, I felt weird about like friendships. I felt weird about like YouTube stuff. I didn't really feel weird about school, which is, I don't really know what I was, I love my school. I didn't really have anything, but yeah. So just talking about like, funks and like where I'm at now versus where I was a few days ago I had a really good day and it's also gloomy out which is my favorite weather so I'm in a really good mood but I just have been thinking I felt like I was just being thrown a lot of things not even necessarily bad actually a lot of good things and I hadn't like slowed down for a second and really thought things through for myself felt like my schedule my routine things that I was doing things that I was saying things that I was feeling like they just weren't in line with like who I am and just myself in general and I felt like so many things like I was being thrown all this knowledge like especially when you're in a program that I'm in like where you just learn so many things it's like I really want to like apply those things like what is it knowledge of that application essentially means nothing I don't remember the actual quote but um I don't know I felt like I was just being thrown on a lot of things and I felt like I wasn't really growing I felt very stagnant um and I just didn't like it and I just felt really weird so sunday was fine sunday night i was like you know i'm just gonna fast that's just something that i do that it's something that i believe in and also something that um i just was really needing clarity and to just like be so i'm like right now i'm off social media which you guys normally don't know i do that a good amount but um my intern lana is like posting for me and stuff so basically it's just so i don't see um like i don't have time to be on there and i feel very disconnected and feel like very like with myself and i just felt like i needed clarity i don't know how many times i can say that but literally it's only wednesday and i already feel so much better like i Things that I just like wanted to kind of just like be free from and like thoughts that I didn't want to have um, Like bitterness I didn't want to have just like anxieties that I didn't want to have like all gone I can't even describe it to you But like they're literally just gone like things that I would normally be feeling or that I should probably feel or that I have like a right to feel I don't feel I don't know. It's amazing. It's literally the best thing ever um, Again, I never want this channel to be something that I'm not so I don't want it to um be like oh I always have my life together it's like there's a lot of times where like I do I, I would never say I actually have my life together but like where I am like productive and like getting things done and blah 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 whatever it's awesome I love that but also there are times where I'm like this and I'm like uh, I don't know and I just it's okay to feel that way it's okay to be in a funk um, take a step back breathe like instead even like just driving in the car lately instead of like listening to a podcast or listening to music i will literally just drive in silence and i don't do that like i don't really i don't dislike silence but like i'm the person who's like blasting my volume at full volume like my all my my sunroof's down my windows are down like that's me um but i just like been sitting in silence and like for me a lot of it is like faith and like praying and whatever but just like being with god being with whatever you believe in i just needed that time i don't know i don't know if any of this is making sense i hope that this is helpful to someone but i just felt really overwhelmed and really overrun and really like unsure of what i was doing and it didn't even have to be something big i just felt off like typically when something feels off something is off and um i just wanted to kind of like reset um like what i was doing like my director nate best person ever uh, my podcast is out with him actually the episode you guys should listen to it but always says like the system that you have right now I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this I butcher every quote that I try to quote um, the system that you have right now is perfect for the results that you're getting and it's like okay I don't necessarily want the results that I'm getting I want to be like ahead of that and just be smart um, but also at the same time it's really important to instead of insist on like always um getting better and always learning something like it's so important to just like be and sit still and reflect on things and be like okay 
this is how I could have fixed that, this is how I should have handled that better, um, this is something that I learned that I really want to put into my life, this is someone that I really value and I really need to invest more time into, like it's so important to just sit there and I feel like I just hadn't done that, so I was just really going crazy and I was just feeling like, I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't know, I just feel like from this fast, um, I already feel so much better and just so much more at peace about things and it's just literally is like the best thing ever so basically i'm just on like a social media cleanse but it's not because of social media like i think social media is one of the greatest things to ever happen like i am so behind it um but for me it's just something that like i am on a lot so if i'm trying to like disconnect it's something that like i have to personally like delete for a second just because that's how i disconnect i don't know but i think social media is amazing so anyways, I feel so much better. Um, also, in times like this, when I'm feeling really off, it just reminds me of like friends that I had that are so amazing. Like Drew, for example, even though I wanna kill him half the time, um, like called me and we had like an hour long conversation and he is so calming to me. I don't know why, he also makes me angrier than anyone does. Not anymore, but like, he is just so, good like he really is and there's just so many people in my life that i'm like wow i have the best friends like today i was driving just got back from a, like school in a meeting and i was driving and i literally like teared up because i'm like i am so happy and like so grateful for the life that i live like i don't deserve i'm doing every like i literally like i don't i'm just so happy like i love my friends so much i love my program so much i love like youtube and my podcast like I'm like, I'm so grateful for all of that and I don't want to get into a place again where I feel like I'm just like a robot running around and whatever. And I want to be like more intentional and just be better. And I think it's smart for everyone. I think that people should do this all the time and like self-reflect and not be like me and wait until you're like really at like rock bottom. But, um, it was not at rock bottom. This is like very dramatic. But just saying, it's so normal to like have, go through funks and feel weird. Um, I hope that this makes sense to someone. But it is really so normal, and what I do to cope with it, hang out with friends, um, fasting is huge for me, that's not just what I do, if I'm feeling off, it's not the only time I fast, I'm just saying, like, fasting is huge for me personally, um, there's a book by Jensen Franklin on fasting that I'm reading, like, finishing up right now, but I've been reading for, like, off and on for a while, and it's amazing, like, it just talks, like, it's, I can't even rave about it enough if you're interested in that, um, but yeah, I feel so much better now. Um, so yeah, this is just, you guys really got to see me go through it a little bit. I think I was really not, I was not, that was not me, that was not good. So, I love you guys so much. Um, I hope this vlog was just like, honestly, just very real. I hope this helped someone or made so like, I don't know. Like, my life is awesome. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm just saying everyone goes through these weird times and I hope it's relatable to someone and that I'm not crazy. So. That is it for this really weird vlog. Okay, love you guys so much. Subscribe, podcast, everything linked down below. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Where the hell are my friends? Home alone, not again.